Hello, I'm Elian St. Hilaire, and in this video I want to talk about Mesh Central 2 and what's uh, coming in the future. So Mesh Central 2 has been entirely built in Node, and so it can fit on very small devices. We can run it on Raspberry Pis on small uh, IA. And so one of the things that's interesting is that we can basically build the entire server inside of a little network appliance. So here I have uh, an Intel Cherry Trail, I have a Raspberry Pi, and I put nice fancy stickers on them. But the idea here is that the, both of these are running Linux, and they are running uh, you know, a decent version of Node, and have decent amount of storage, and so they can run all of Mesh Central 2 in, in a LAN mode. And so you, what you do is you just plug this appliance on uh, your local network, it gets an IP address, it will multicast it, its position on the network, and then other uh, agents that you install on the other computers will multicast, find the appliance and connect to it. And then you can control all your devices um, on your local network from one appliance. And the nice thing is because this is always on, consumes very little power, um, what you, these will kind of monitor your computers all the time, uh, you know, run history data, you know, check when the computer's on and off and so on, and kind of fill their database with that data. Um, and then whenever you log into a little website on these devices, you can get that data and you can also, uh, you know, take control of the computers, send files and do other, other things like that. So that's a really fun idea. Uh, and so uh, we'll be posting information. We already have an install guide on how to install Mesh Central 2. And so it's pretty f uh, easy for people who are familiar with the Raspberry Pi or, or Linux to uh, take uh, the Mesh Central 2 code out of NPM and uh, create one of these. And by the way, right here I have uh, just phony boxes I built just to promote uh, to my friends the Mesh Central 2 appliance and how it would work, how it would look if, if it was a commercial product. Obviously, this is all open source, and I uh, hope you guys can participate in um, helping me and the gang debug and uh, improve this piece of software with me. Thank you so much.